And we are getting set for the third bout of the evening. This is the men's bantamweight, 56 kilograms. This will be a good one. The red corner, Akhundalai Doranjabu from Mongolia, and the blue corner from Tajikistan, Anvar Yunusov. So we see both boxers, one already in the ring, the other making his way to the ring. Let's take a look back at yesterday's semifinals to see how they got here. Atandalai Doranjayambu with a 12-9 victory over Jin Young Lee from Korea. Got him to the finals today. And Young Anvar Yunusov with a 26-7, a commanding decision victory over Chil Yuan Kao from Chinese Taipei. So both of these boxers impressively made their way here. And we could see the judges for this bout, Lane, Zooks, Ram, Labby, and Yurtsever. As the referee is gonna call both boxers to the center of the ring here. Referee from Syria, Issa Al Nassar. And as he gets the word from the ringside officials and boxing is off. Anvar Yunusov in the red corner, excuse me, in the blue corner. And you see now as Quang, uh, Yunusov with his back against the ropes and Otko, as we call him, in the red corner from Mongolia. Throws a right hand, Yunusov comes back there in the center. There's 30 seconds down here in round number one. And Otko is pressing the action, and as Yunusov throws a right hand, and wrestling going on here in the center of the ring. The referee is going to issue a caution to Yunusov. And boxing is going to resume a left hand to the body by Yunusov. And there goes Otko with a left hand to the body, digging away, and Yunusov comes out with right hand, and Otko and Yunusov locked horns again in the center of the ring. It's starting to get loud in here. There's a contingency of boxers rooting for the Mongolian here, and as he throws a left-right combination, partially blocked, Yunusov back up against the ropes. There's a quick right hand and a left and another right, and actually that crowd seems to be chanting for Yunusov. He's got Otko in a headlock here as the referee is looking on closely, and Otko adjusts his headgear and continues to press the action, looking for an opportunity to penetrate the guard. Yunusov throws a looping right hand and another left hand. And now Yunusov goes down partially due to a slip. The referee urges him to dry his gloves off of his shorts, and now Yunusov is back to basics. A right hand by the Mongolian scores to the belly of Yunusov, and Yunusov bobbing and weaving. Looking for an opening there. A right-left combination by the Mongolian, both full short. And there's a looping right hand by Yunusov, a right hand by the Mongolian, and he presses the action and gets a right hand as he pushes Yunusov into the corner. Yunusov is able to get out of there right away, and the referee issues a caution to the Mongolian boxer. As the Mongolian pumps out his left hand, pumps it out again, and the boxers lock up in the center of the ring. 55 seconds to go as the Mongolian boxer tries to free his hands and Yunusov pushes him on the break. The referee issues a caution to not hold the gloves of the Mongolian boxer. A left lead hand by Yunusov, a wild right haymaker, full short. And now Yunusov throws a right on the break, on the clinch rather, and then the Mongolian boxer does the same. Both boxers punching in the clinch. It's nice to see these boxers not giving an inch. You hear it from the crowd every time Yunusov lands a punch, and here comes the Mongolian moving forward. Yunusov keeping his distance from the Mongolian. Mongolian boxer has long arms. Yunusov trying to figure out a way to land his scoring punches without getting hit his own on his own. And now, as the Mongolian and the Yunusov continue to wrestle a little bit here in the center of the ring. The referee finishes with caution. There's a right hand on the left hand by Yunusov. Another right hand by Yunusov. The lead left by the Mongolian boxer and Yunusov and him lock up once again. So this first round was marred by a lot of punches and a little bit of tripping going on in the center of the ring, but we will get the score in just a moment. And there it is, 3-3 after round one. So both boxers did enough
to impress the judges, and it's 3-3 after the first round. Anvar Yunusov from Dushanbe, Tajikistan. It's the capital city. He's the gold medalist at the Asian Games. He's a five-time national champ and a champion in Tajikistan. He's also the 2011 silver medalist at the China International Games. So Anvar Yunusov, no stranger to the big stage right here, the 2011 Asian Confederation Championships. He's looking to add another notch to his belt. He could get, he will get, at the very least get the silver here, but he doesn't want the silver. He wants the gold. Gold is a lot shinier. Round two underway. Renato continues to press the action. Both boxers. Very game here. Unisov boxing in the southpaw stands, pushing out that right hand jab, falling short. Akko with a fast left right release. And now Unisov willing to mix it up, and Akko is continuing to press the action. He's got Unisov up against the ropes. A left to the body by Akko. And as Akko pushes out his jab, Unisov sneaks up and tries to land a quick right hand. The left to the body, and now. The referee is going to issue a caution to the boxer from Mongolia to keep facing his opponent at all times. The right hand and an overhand right by the Mongolian boxer. A quick left hand by Unisov. And again, they are locked up in the center of the ring as the referee is going to break the boxers. We're one minute down in the second round. It was all tied up at three going into this round. The judges at ringside looking on closely here, looking for an opportunity to score some clean punches. Only the knuckle part of the glove will count if it lands on the face or body of the opponent and unblocked or otherwise un redirected. And this is where we stand right now, a minute and 42 seconds, and both boxers continue to lock horns. Each of these boxes would be well served to keep away, keep the distance. Enough of these clinches. Set your pace, get your footwork down, turn your boxer, use your jab, set up combination punching and score clean shots. That's the way to victory here today. The referee is going to let the boxing resume here halfway through round two. This is the third bout of the evening. It is the men's bantamweight, 56 kilograms. Anvar Yunusov from Tajikistan, and Atandalai Dorinjambu from Mongolia. So both of these boxers evenly matched here. Right hand by the boxer from Mongolia. He feints a right hand, but doesn't let it go, and Yunusov slips a little bit. He's a opposing corner there, and regains his footing, throws a right and a left, both fall short. So again, we've got some sloppy boxing here in the second round as these boxers try and gain a competitive advantage and pull away in the judges' scorecards. And as Unisov is up against the ropes, again, they are continuing to lock. The referee should keep a close eye on those clinches and enforce that the boxers continue to box. The clinching is becoming somewhat of a hindrance on the fluidity of this third bout of the evening. A left right hand, a wild left hand by Otto. And the referee is going to again issue a caution to keep charging forward. And there's a nice lead left hand by Unisov. And then Otto's got his hands up high. Unisov's got his right hand down. Be a good opportunity for Otto to land a sneaky left hand to jab. Nothing worse for a boxer than to let his hands fall as Otto is looking for an opportunity to try and capitalize, and that is the end of round two. And there you see it, Anvar Yunusov is able to pull away in that second round, 6-2, 5-4, 8-2, 4-5, and 6-4 for Anvar Yunusov. He now leads 6-4 in this gold medal contest. Who's gonna come back with the gold? and get their hand raised in victory on the platform. The winner circle you see in that second round. Some of the action as Unisov lands a left hand to the head of Otko and a right hand right down the middle, a straight right hand 
right on the face, and that's exactly what he needed. And look how he got out of the way through that right hand and was able to stay out of the distance of that left counterpunch by Otko. Six to four, Unisov. Stay out of harm's way, but there's a right hand by the Mongolian. The two point margin is not nearly enough for Unisov to sit back and rest on his laurels. He needs to score more points and ensure a victory here. When you leave it to the judges, you never know how it's going to go. And now Unisov is back up against the ropes. And there's some wrestling going on as the Mongolians push down to the canvas. The referee is going to issue a caution. Left hand by the Mongolian boxer. And they tie up again, locking horns in the center of the ring. The referee is going to ask them to separate. The right hand by Unisov. And a quick right hook, double right hook by Unisov. Both fall short. And the Mongolian comes forward but doesn't throw any punches. And he leads with the right hand now. And again, down go both boxers. So this boxes, boxing match is nothing. Nothing pretty about it as both of these boxers are looking for an opportunity to escape harm's way and tally up points at the same time. And now the Mongolian boxer has turned a little bit as Unisov doing a good job. He throws a crafty right hand and is able to escape harm's way. And now the Mongolian boxer on his toes. He well served if he would have start throwing some more punches. He's down by two going into this round. There's less than a minute and a half to go. I am Castle Chalice calling the action from ringside and there's a short right hand by Unisov and a sharp left hand by Unisov and now the Mongolian boxer continues to chase him down. Unisov changing posture left to right looking for an opportunity. A quick left hand by Unisov scores to the face of Otto. Now the referee is going to get the attention of Otto and ask him to pay attention and also to caution his corner to keep it down over there in the gallery. A right hand to the body by Unisov. Another right hand by Unisov, and another right hand actually that scores to the face. He loses his balance, he's fitting for just a moment, but Unisov is right back in action. Look how low Unisov is keeping his right hand. Why would the Mongolian boxer not charge forward and use that jab? Cause Unisov to keep his right hand up or else pay the price. And again, the referee is going to issue a caution to Otto. And the boxing will resume here in the center of the ring. Unisov not doing much other than going through the motions right now as Otto is locking up. Otto should be separating and should be throwing punches. There's 22 seconds left. Unisov smells victory. What will Otto do? Will he continue to push forward or will he let this one go to the judges' scorecards uncontested? Otto now has Unisov in the corner. Unisov is able to slip away from that predicament. A left hand wild by Otto, which falls short. The referee is going to issue a caution boxing. Resumes here in the center on a left-right-right right combination. And now Unisov putting his hands out. A little bit of machismo. And he thinks he's got the victory. We will see shortly how the judges have this one. Referee checks the gloves of, or rather the hands and the wraps of both boxers. We will make our way now to the center, and the referee will announce the decision. And the gold medalist is Yunusov, Anvar Yunusov from Tajikistan. 13 to 10, a three point margin is enough to claim the gold medal here at the 2011.